Hey, my friend, hey, I know you are enjoying this for a reason. Hey, after we remove this out of the way, I'm sure you'll be free. You'll be free to dive into where you have to be right now, to that place where you must be, right? So we will talk about the reason number four, why people fail to identify their dream. Listen, when you remove this four reason, you will go just like bullet. Because you know exactly what was stopping to you, what was blocking you. And, and then you just, you're going to be free. And you even have, you know, you, you'll be able to go faster. So reason number four, some people lack confidence, needed to pursue their dream. Some people lack confidence, needed to pursue their dream. Today I was talking to a young lady. Um, we started a project together. And she was so, so on fire. She actually brought me into the project. She was so on fire. She gathered a team, developed a project, one of the heavy, heavy projects. And guess what? She told me, hey, I, I, I'm not pursuing this anymore. Meanwhile, the thing took off, and it brings so much money. She put the team together, but she abandoned. Lack of confidence. She gave me so much excuse. Oh, I'm not get this. I'm not get that. I don't understand how things are going, blah, 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 blah. She gives so many excuses. If you are lacking confidence to carry your dream or to go from your dream to reality, it's okay. We all go through that. But you have to know that the confidence is something you actually need to go from where you are to where you need to go. Sometimes people will intimidate you. Sometimes people will come and point out what you don't have. Sometimes people will even laugh at you. Sometimes people will even come and prove to you that it's not possible. That you're not the person who's qualified to bring that dream to life. Sometimes people will even come and even attack you so they can kill your personality. I remember in the Bible, when the brother of Joseph saw Joseph, they say, hey, let's arrest him and kill him so we can see what will become his dream. A lot of time, opposition can come. The confidence killer can attack your confidence because of your dream. Sometimes you have to be bold enough to face the uncommon because of your dream. Sometimes you just have to rise up just like a lion, and take no nonsense because of your dream. Some people stop dreaming. Some people can't go from, the, from, put, go from dream to reality just because they lack the confidence needed to pursue the dream, to pursue your dream, to get that business out of you and stay out there and st stay in the storm. You have to have a lot of confidence. You have to be strong. I always say, don't be too rigid when people can just break you. But be like a sequoia tree. Bend, but never break. And be able to bend left, right, and come right back. Be like a cocoa tree. The wind can blow from left and right, but the tree will be there. The tree can bend and touch the ground and come right back on. You need a confident. You need a lot of confident to press on with that dream. Know who you are. And the confident even help you to go out there and get the people you need. But don't be intimidated. And don't let anybody kill your dream or block you because they rob you from your confidence. John says something very important. He said, if you sell yourself for a dollar, nobody will pay you two dollars when you put yourself up for a dollar. We are talking about confidence. You, sometime, you really, really have to gather yourself and gather all your confidence and press on like never before. So I share all the four reasons why people stop 
they dream or even they stop dream. I talk about confidence. I talk about what other people are saying. I talk about disappointment. I talk about hurt. I talk about unrealistic expectation. I talk about, you know, reality, some of the reality that people actually face. And I share about confidence. I talk about the way people think. I set the average as what is required. So remove all these four barriers. Tomorrow I will talk about the I will start talking about the 10 way you must actually test every dream. Again, before you engage in any type of business, say where well, this is what I want to do. Make sure it's gonna be worth your time. I see people start business, go half away and be like, you know what, this is not what I want to do. I don't want you to waste money and waste time in things like that. So tomorrow we will dive into the 10 point you must put in test, you must pass your dream or whatever you want to realize into it before you engage yourself into it. All right, see you tomorrow.